Bye, Bilbo. which is a Monday, and I was up and out early today. I had a CAT scan this morning um, to figure out why uh, I'm still having chronic sinus infections and a hacking cough um, a year after I had surgery that was supposed to fix that. Um, so, yeah, that was my morning. It wasn't the most fun I've ever had, but it was fine. Um, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to have a second cup of coffee, <laughs> um, and get my day going with some work. I have some orders to pack and I'm going to start working on a wholesale order and it should be a nice, um, productive but not stressful day. Hey friends, um, it is about quarter to four in the afternoon and I'm done for the day. <laughs> uh, I had my CAT scan this morning, got the preliminary results from the hospital and my deviated septum, which I had surgery to correct last November, is now deviated again. So yeah, it looks like I have another surgery that's gonna be happening to fix it again, which isn't super unusual apparently, but oh, it's not what I was hoping to hear. So yeah, I um, I got done my like must do's for work and I was talking to my wonderful friend Kemper of Junk Yarn and um, I was like, oh, I just wanna get this, 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 and this done and then I'll go like relax and um, kind of give myself a chance to wrap my head around this and uh, she said well you know if you've done what you have to do like chill out for the day like it can wait so that's what I'm doing um, I'm going to do some knitting and just let myself sort of come to some equilibrium about this I'm sorry the camera shaky I'm holding the I'm holding the camera in my hand and not resting on anything. So, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, just gonna try to relax and recenter. It is now about 20 after 6 and I am feeling much better after a couple hours of knitting, a few episodes of Call the Midwife. <sighs> Today did not go the way I would have liked it to go, but well I guess that's really the end of that statement. Um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't great. Definitely not news that I was happy to receive. But as Elizabeth Zimmerman said, um, you know, <laughs> that quote that I can't remember. Those two quotes that I can't remember. She said them, they apply. I can't remember them. I'll put them on the screen. <laughs>
time to open some advent calendars. This is the Sweet Sparrow Yarns advent calendar. This is my yarn. This is Sweet Sparrow Yarns in the Red Bird of Winter colorway, which is um, an undyed tweed speckled with a beautiful, rich red. And this colorway was inspired by the flash of seeing cardinals um, in the trees, which look so gray and bare in the winter. And what a joy it is to see that bright flash of color. And day six comes with a buttermint candy. Um, incidentally, the brand is also Redbird. <laughs> and I absolutely love these. Um, they remind me a lot of my grandmother because the Chinese restaurant that we would go to with my grandmother when I was a kid had butter mints in a bowl on the way out and um, we really only went there with my grandmother so it's just a very uh, positive memory for me. Day six from Stress Knits is Oatmeal, which is a gorgeous oatmeal tan color with just a little hint of sort of the, the palest mauve color. It's really lovely. Day six from Bed of Roses is this sweet little feather progress keeper with a cream gemstone that has just a touch of pale green and the timing for this is perfect because when I was waiting outside the hospital I saw a very long V of geese and it was really beautiful and they flew over and then disappeared into the very heavy fog and it was just a, a really magical thing to witness um, especially in such an ordinary moment where I was very much, uh, you know, thinking about what I needed to do and um, thinking about very sort of practical things like, um, you know, getting into the hospital, making sure I had all my paperwork, seeing something so beautiful really brought me back to myself in a way that I uh, really needed and appreciated. Here's the sixth ornament from Natalie at Remembrance's Pottery. I think this is my favorite so far. I think I say that every day, but they're all just so incredible. Um, I think I am going to get a little tree for them so that I can put them up in my snug uh, where I do most of my knitting and look at them. I could hang them on my rosemary, but that, well, it's not... It's not thriving. <laughs> I mean, it's doing fine, but it's it's only maybe four uh, stems, so I don't think it'll quite do the job. So I'll get a little tree. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Natalie. Tonight for dinner, I am making shrimp and mushrooms and spinach, which I haven't added yet. Um, and I think I'll put in a little leftover tomato sauce from last night's dinner and serve it over polenta mixed with ricotta. Should be tasty.